Transmere Enlightenment Academy Holistic Transformation Podcast is Christopher Nauer. He is a business and life coach. He is the CEO of Balance 6 Inc., a certified business life coach, author, mentor, speaker, consultant, time management master certified by Brian Tracy. He helps thousands of owners double productivity and time off. Isn't that nice? Make more money and take more time off. I like that. <laughs> <You're> welcome. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> so everybody does something for a reason. So tell us your transformation story. How did you get into all of this and, and what's your story? Well, <clears throat> I'll try to keep it short. So um, I'm originally from Switzerland. And that's why, you know, most people are stumped by my name. You know, uh, I always say my name got famous with the movie Frozen, even though uh, I never seen the movie and my, because my kids were grown by the time it came out. Um, I was a teacher back in Switzerland, teaching young kids, and I really enjoyed doing that. It was like my first, my first passion. But I also knew that I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. And so um, many years ago, I decided to quit my job and come to the US to California and study theology. And um, that's where I met my wife and that's how I ended up staying here. So I got a master's degree in theological studies and then been in pastoral ministry for over 25 years. And so helping people has been part of my life for as long as I can remember. Back in 2010, a friend of mine invited me to a men's group and so, you know, uh, I've never been to a men's group, you know, it's kind of a new experience for me, but uh, there's one guy in the group who was a coach and I was like, hmm, tell me more. And so somehow, you know, we just started talking and going out for coffee. And so we became friends outside of the men's group. And at some point I was like, you know, this really exciting stuff that you talk about here. I'd love to be trained. Um, can you, uh, you know, help me how to, how do I go about doing that? So he said, this is so interesting because I'm just transitioning from tr coaching people to training coaches. Mm. Would you like to become my first student? I'm like, oh. all right, sign me up. <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, obviously, as you know, a lot of listeners know, once you have your little certificate or, or whatever you want to call it, that's when you realize how little you really know. <laughs> <laughs> or how you really don't know anything. And so that's where the real learning curve started, you know. And so that's the time when I started uh, connecting with masters in the industry, Brian Tracy, who later on certified me as a time manager master, John Asaraf, who's very, very well known in the self development industry and became famous with the movie uh, The Secret. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Christian Michelson, who is a, you know, a guru in the business and self development mm -hmm. industry as well. Um, and then over the years, um, my own coach said, you know, you have, you don't have a brand. And like, what's a brand? <laughs> <laughs> um, because none of that was taught, you know, I'd never learned of that. And so lo and behold, anyway, I, I worked on that and that's how the business name came about balance six, new business name, new website, new everything. So a huge learning curve, a lot of uh, discomfort, you know, I'm experiencing what I ask my clients to do, just step outside the comfort zone. So now I did it myself. And the six that I need, I do believe that we need to balance to be the best version of ourselves, so time and money, health, relationship, self-improvement and spirituality of higher power. When we balance those six, that's when we are the best version of ourselves as a spouse, as a business owner, as a parent, it doesn't matter what role we play. And that's really, that has become my brain and is my brain to this day. And I strongly believe in that. And through this process over the years too, I realized I really want to work with small business owners because they have pretty much control 
over that time, much more so than a W-2 employee. And usually it's one of the reasons why people get into business for themselves. I want to be my own boss, you know, in addition to being good and passionate about something. But what happens quite often, the business starts to become the boss. The business starts to drive the owner instead of the other way around. Mm -hmm. And that kind of defeats one of the reasons why people get into business to begin with. Um, so that's kind of, in a, in a nutshell, the short version of my story, how I ended up to this point doing what I do. And I think seeing the transformation that is possible from working insane hours and having absolutely no free time and no quality time for self and no time off to having a fulfilling home life outside the business and a successful business at the same time. To see this when it's emerges and getting, it's just, that's really the reason why I do what I do, because to see that, that's so satisfying to see that success and that uh, transformation in people's lives, personal lives, their health and their relationship with their business. That is really awesome. Can you tell us the six, I was trying to count as you went, the six balance items again, what were they? <laughs> sure. Uh, time and money. What is it? Time and money. Time and money. Then we have health and relationship. Health and relationships. Self-improvement and spirituality. Oh, I see. Because you had, uh, yeah, those are all really important. Uh, I like those. So there, coaches are everywhere. And I interview coaches all the time. So what sets you apart? Why are you different? Well. That's exactly one of the, the main reason is the six. You know, most coaches that I know, they focus on, you know, improving profitability, making more money. Um, if you have a coach, then it could be, you know, focusing on your career, being a happy home life, whatever. Um, but I take a more comprehensive approach. And that's what you see right there on top of my screen. Oh, I see. Yeah. You know, comprehensive business coaching. Because I do believe that the personal and the business cannot be separated. If one is out of whack, it affects the other one and vice versa. You know, when we, when our focus is completely on business only, well, then our loved ones don't see us. Or well, they may see us, but we're not physically present. Now we're physically present, but that's about the only presence we have. Mm -hmm. But our mind, our hearts, and our everything is elsewhere. And to just illustrate the point here is a client of mine, she was a single mom, four kids, trying to launch her real estate business. And so she was always working, constantly. And so I introduced the concept of office hours to her. And she was like, oh, you don't understand my industry. And I said, yes, you're correct. I, I don't. I'm not a realtor. I'm a coach. But let me tell you one thing. Those four beautiful children of yours, they will resent you mm -hmm. if you're never actually present and involved with them. Yeah. And so it took a while. She did fight me for a few months, but eventually she did implement it. And she's running a very successful business now. She's about five or six team members on her team. And it's, she's just absolutely killing it. Her kids have grown now. And they're very happy that they actually got to see mom. Not just see mom, but mom was present and part of their lives. Yeah, especially at important moments. Kids don't understand, well, next time or later or uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Or I'll watch the replay. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Kids don't understand that. No, no. Yeah, and you can't get that time back. That's really important. So uh, how exactly do you work with clients? You just talk to them or do you have some techniques that you use? What do you do? Yes. Yeah, so first, when a person realizes that, you know, something is out of whack, something is not working, and they usually have to be enough uh, pain to want to make a change. Mm -hmm. That's when they can reach out to me and say, hey, you know, can I 
can I talk with you? And I said, yes, absolutely. And this, any listener who hears this and wants to talk with me, um, I offer them a free session because they were heard of me, about me in this podcast. And during that session, we'll talk about where do you, where do you want to go? What is it that you want to achieve in your business and in your personal life? The whole idea of goal setting, you know, getting clear. Clarity is the most important concept of productivity. Um, and then we dig really deep. What is it that you really want and why? And what would be the absolute best part about having that once we dig, you know, once they open up and share everything that they want. And then next we'll talk about, okay, well, what's not working? And then we dig into the pain point. Um, and then when we're done with that, I go through my coaching methodology, how I work, you know, and let them know how that works. And then should they decide they want to work with me, then this is either done on the, on the phone or via Zoom. And in between sessions, they are given homework. Now, most people don't like that term, so I call them practices. You know, my motto is what we learn, we practice, what we practice, we become. You know, I don't know about you, I learned how to drive a car on, as a, on a stick, you know. Yeah, me too. All right, so I don't know how many times I stalled it going uphill, you know, <laughs> parallel parking, grinding the gears. I mean, you know, you yeah. name it. Swimming the clutch. There you go. <laughs> and well, I don't think about it twice anymore. Now I have an automatic, but still, even when I did, not, actually a few years ago, I still had a stick. I actually enjoyed driving a stick, but I didn't, yeah. it was automated. Why? Because I've done it over and over and over again. And it's the same thing when you have to learn a new skill set. Once you, in the beginning, it's hard. And you really have to force yourself to do something different. But if you keep repeating it, eventually it becomes a habit. You know, and so that's what it's all about. So if they, when they practice and do the things that I recommend between sessions, they will see results. I know because I've seen it over, over 10 years now. You know, nice. And then during the session that we kind of review the progress. How is it going? You know, they, talk, they can share their struggles with me and then we address them and how to overcome the struggles. If you didn't do what we said we were going to do, why is it that you didn't do it? You know, and most of the time it was not put on this little gadget. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, what doesn't get scheduled doesn't get done kind of deal. Um, and since coaching is a long term process it's not a quick fix thing you, can, you can't just turn the light switch on and boom it's all done because most clients when i ask them how long have you experienced these challenges most of them say sometimes forever sometimes they say decades so if i can say to them well we can fix this in a couple of weeks i'd be lying i've never seen it happen so first we have to unlearn what's not working and then we have to learn the better way to do things so that we can get to where we want to go. So that's why I ask my clients to make a six month commitment to themselves, not to me, because it's not about me. None of this is about me. This is all about my clients and their success. That's really important. I agree with you. So do you offer guarantees then if people spend six months with you? I offer a guarantee that they see results if they do what I recommend they do. They, they, they cannot expect results if they continue to do the same thing that they've done in the past. You know, it's kind of like the definition of insanity. But if you do the things I recommend you do, you will see results. I know that because I've seen it. Good. That's nice. Wow, that's really awesome. Um, so we sometimes have our speakers offer a free gift to the audience. So you have one for the audience, five secrets before putting your business growth on autopilot. Tell us about that. Yes, that's a, a free uh, report that can get on my website, balance6.biz. Mm -hmm. um, and that really outlines some of the, the work I do. It doesn't go into too much detail, you know, gives them just some some a few golden nuggets so to speak mm -hmm. if they want to dig a little bit deeper then they can get my book um, also available on the website uh, 
from no time to free time, six steps to work life balance for business owners. Nice. So, you know, and that's, you know, it's only $7.99 as an ebook. If they want the paperback version, it's $19.95. So really very, very inexpensive stuff. Um, on the best part, the easiest that still doesn't cost them a dime is they can actually schedule a session with me. They can do that from my website as well, you know, and where, where I go through the process that I briefly described with you uh, recently, briefly, uh, just nice. a couple of minutes ago. So those are some possible actions people can take. Okay. So if you're watching us on YouTube, the link will be down below. Uh, you can just click on it. If you're listening to us on the podcast on Spotify or Simplecast or Apple, uh, the you go to his website, balance, B-A-L-A-N-C-E, the number six dot biz, B-I-Z. Okay, go ahead. I interrupted you. I wanted to get that out. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. And that's, that's really, you know, my website has a wealth of information. There's, there's several good blog posts there as well that they can read up on. If they want to, they can go to my uh, YouTube channel, Better Life, Better Business, which I have a podcast. And I, again, each episode is about 15 to 20 minutes and packed full of golden nuggets. So there's a lot of great resources that they can go and just check it out and, and, and learn and see. And then if they want to talk to me before or after any time, I'd be happy to have a conversation with them. Nice. That's wonderful. Well, do you have any closing words for our audience? Maybe a couple of points. First of all, have a schedule for every day so that you have a GPS for the day. What does your day look like from the time you get up to the time you go to bed? And make sure there's something for you on that schedule. I want to briefly illustrate that, if I may, with a story. Most people have heard of Carl Jung, right? Mm -hmm. Most people have never heard of Christoph Nauer. Now, one thing that the two of us have in common, we're both Swiss. Uh, he had a house on the lake of Zurich. I grew up in the outskirts of Zurich. But that's not the story. The story is that Carl Jung was contacted by a very influential person asking for an appointment on Wednesday afternoon at 2. He said, I'm sorry, I already have an appointment. I'm not available. That person was used to getting her way and so was not very happy about that. So she, lo and behold, she happens to ride in a boat past his house that Wednesday afternoon at two. And then Carl was sitting in the backyard, dangling his feet in the water. Now you can imagine how upset she was with that. So when she came home, she called him up and really he ranted and raved and yelled at him and said, you lied to me. You didn't have an appointment. I saw you, you were sitting in the backyard dangling your feet in the water. And he said very calmly, no, I did not lie to you. I had the most important appointment of the week, an appointment with myself. Yep. And so if you don't take much else with you from today's talk, follow the advice of Carl Jung. Now I push it a little bit further and encourage you to have something for yourself once a day, not just once a week. Um, so that's something that I would highly recommend to all listeners. Make your own well-being a top priority, because if you don't, nobody else will. On the airplane, they tell us, tell us correctly, would you mask on yourself first before you help somebody else? Now, let's apply that wisdom to our lives outside of airplanes as well. Yeah, I agree completely. Uh, and I do that. <laughs> I have no doubts that you do, Beverly. <laughs> I didn't used to. I used to work seven days a week, all day long, all night long, and um, ruined my health doing it <laughs> and realized I needed limits. Yes. So, yeah, now I plan my life out. You're totally correct. I, I Wonderful talk and wonderful advice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure being here with you. Well, thank you. We're very glad you were with us.